Hey viewers, welcome to Scientific Biology. In this video, we will study about the human respiratory system. Human respiratory system is one of the most vital organ system of the body that support pulmonary ventilation, external and internal respiration, olfaction and phonation. We breathe about 16,000 to 24,000 times a day with exchange of about 11,000 liter of air with the atmosphere. In this process, the oxygen of the atmospheric air is delivered to the human body which is then utilized by the tissue and the carbon dioxide which is produced by the human body is exported to the lungs. If you enjoy my video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to make sure you can get notified when I upload a new video. In this video, we will first talk about the brief anatomy and physiology of the respiratory system. Then we will discuss how the gases transportation occurs. And later we will talk about how the respiratory regulation occurs in the human body. So first coming to the anatomy and physiology of the respiratory system. The human respiratory system has two parts. The upper respiratory system and the lower respiratory system. The upper respiratory system consists nasal cavity, pharynx and larynx. Air entering the nasal cavity flows through the passage created by the superior, middle and inferior nasal conchae, frontal, maxilla, nasal, ethmoid and vomer are the five bones of the nasal cavity that form a framework that support the nose. The pharynx is a muscular membranous tube that functions as a part of elementary canal and as an airway in the upper respiratory system. Pharynx consist of three regions and they are nasopharynx, oropharynx and larynx. The larynx is an organ of complex structure that serves as a dual function, as an air canal to the lung and as the organ of phonation. The skeletal framework of the larynx consists of cartilages connected by the membranes. The lower respiratory system consists trachea, bronchi, bronchioles and lungs. The trachea extends from the larynx to the upper border of the T5 vertebra, where it branches to form bronchi. The trachea is supported by a series of C-shaped cartilaginous ring that allow the trachea to change shape to accommodate masses of the food passes through the esophagus. The bronchi are the air passage into the lung that begins at the end of the trachea. There are two bronchi, one for each lung. The bronchi divide and redivide to form a bronchioles. There are two lungs in the human body, which are located inside the thoracic cage. The right lung is bigger than the left. The right lung has three lobes and the left has two. There are hundreds of millions of alveoli exist inside each lung. These alveoli are the air sacs surrounded by the network of blood vessels that provide space for gaseous exchange. Now let's see how the gases transportation take place in our body. During normal inhalation, air containing oxygen passes through the nose and mouth to the lungs. During normal exhalation, air containing carbon dioxide and other waste passes out the same path. This process of moving air in and out of the lung is called pulmonary ventilation or breathing. During normal inhalation, the diaphragm and the external costal muscles contract and a rib cage elevate. As a result, air rushes in. But during the normal exhalation, the muscle relax, so air is expelled out. Inside the lungs, oxygen from the air is exchanged for the waste carbon dioxide from the bloodstream. This process takes place in alveoli. Oxygen from inhaled air diffuses from the alveoli into the pulmonary capillaries and the carbon dioxide from oxygen depleted blood diffuses from the capillaries into the alveoli. Now the bloodstream deliver oxygen to cells and remove the carbon dioxide through the process of internal respiration. In the lungs, oxygen is absorbed into the blood by RBC containing hemoglobin. Oxygen binds to this molecule. The oxygenated blood then moves through the pus culture. Within the body tissue, the RBC release oxygen which then diffuses through the capillary wall into the tissue. 
Meanwhile, the waste carbon dioxide diffuses into the bloodstream, where it is carried inside the RBC and plasma. Now, the deoxygenated blood travels through vasculature and back to the lungs, where carbon dioxide is expelled out from the body. Now let's see how breathing is regulated by our brain. Respiration is an involuntary function. Nerve impulse is transmitted by the pons and the middle oblongata to the respiratory center. The rate of normal breathing is 12 to 15 breaths per minute. The body adjusts the rate and depth of the normal breathing in response to metabolic needs. When the body uses more oxygen, Sensor in the blood called chemoreceptor sends the signals to the brain. So the rate of breathing increases. Action including talking, sneezing and coughing can also alter breathing pattern for the short period of time.